mutation, that driving force of innovation which has allowed life to adapt to an ever-changing world. I'm Charles Pithecus, and I run a school for mutant mammals in the Pliocene from five to two and a half million years ago. We have survived the extinctions caused by the cooling of the planet and the beginning of glacial periods. We are the ex-mammals. Mammothito, I'm concerned that the ancestral lineages of mammals in the Pliocene feel threatened by our new lineages of mutant mammals. Charles Pithecus, there will always be a struggle between the ancestral lineages and the new mutant mammals. But here in the Pliocene, we are joined by Sabretooth and other Sabretooth cats. In addition to Arctotherium, the largest bear in history weighing more than 3,000 pounds. But these mutant mammals only want to live in peace. That would include horses such as Dinohippus the first mammoths, and the very first members of the hominid group, such as Ardipithecus. They just want to live in peace in this world. Peace? Do you think the native South American fauna, the terror birds, the notoungulates, the marsupial predators want peace with these new immigrants from North America? The only way to achieve peace, Charles Pithecus, is for you to stay out of my way. Your plans are about as slow to develop as a glyptodon armadillo, Mammothito. Oh, come, Wolverinodon. Carnivores like yourself are spreading to South America and invading new lands. You should be on our side. The Pliocene is no time to go on vacation. Let's just fight. Ah, that makes me feel all warm and tingly inside. Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Hoi! Oh! Pow! Ha! -ha! Yeah! Wow! Ha -ha! We can only hope that after the Pliocene is over, that mutant mammals and the ancestral lineages will learn to live together in peace. Well, Professor, now that humans are spreading throughout diverse continents, that doesn't seem very likely.